Hi, Chamber members. Thanks for watching. My name is Jenny Breckis. I'm the Reno City Council Member for Ward 1. I'm a two term incumbent asking for uh, the votes of Ward 1 voters for a third term. I'm running to bring continued, independent, and informed leadership to the Reno City Council and provide responsive constituent services to Ward 1 residents. I also approach the job with optimism that city is enduring and we can design the future that we want for our community in these times. The Chamber has asked a second question of what are my top three priorities? The greatest responsibility of any city council is stewardship of the fiscal uh, health of the government. Uh, we've made a lot of strides since 2011 when I started running because during the depths of the Great Recession the city's uh, laid off about a third of its workforce and what hadn't spent a lot of money but not invested in my view in the in the priorities of our citizens but here we are again as the economic times have swung facing challenges times and and I've become an expert in city finance issues and that will be continue to be my top priority the second is making sure that as in a growing community that we are not leaving behind our neighborhoods our older neighborhoods particularly those in Ward 1 I'm here in the triangle part Park off Ward 1, uh, Plum Lane, and this area was annexed in 1999 and promises were made at that time to residents that their infrastructure would be upgraded, in particular they're still on septics and sewer would be brought in. It has not, despite a lot of Reno investment in sewer and outlying growth areas. That's a misalignment of priorities that we need to tip over and balance to not allow the infrastructure and services in older areas uh, be sacrificed for new growth areas. Very important. The third issue is the crisis of our time and that is the unsheltered population. The city of Reno is in the forefront of that in allocating um, the space of the encampments and the impacts those cause to adjoining residents. But in solving the core issues, we are the least equipped to do that because we don't have the resources for that. Uh, that goes at other levels of government, particularly the Washoe County, that has some resources available that they have not deployed for that. And then also the state government and the federal government are have to, gonna have to come in because that's how big that this issue is, how many resources are needed to um, brought to bear on that. And um, that's, that's a third important issue that is critical to our quality of life and our uh, viability of our local economy. The, um, Third question the Chamber has asked is how to address this budgetary uh, downturn related to COVID. Um, first of all, we can't hold our breath for the federal government. They've spent a lot of relief money uh, as late, but uh, it really is passed through and not impacting um, the city of Reno revenues that are in difficult shape. Growth does not necessarily translate to revenues to the city of Reno budget. It helps the local economy, but not our budget. We need, we can't rely on state government either. Las Vegas control, Carson City is shown time and time again that they're not gonna solve local Washoe County budgetary problems. We need to efficiently use the resources that are on the table and where there is potential for new resources, exercise those. There's some special interests that are protective of those. Those are marketing from the RSCBA, some of the road building that comes out of RTC, uh, some of the um, lock boxes in City of Reno uh, budget also. Those all need to go unchallenged and in question in these times to meet the new priorities of the time. How to get in touch with me? Last question, jennybreckis.com. All my contact information is there. Thank you very much, and I'm asking for the vote of Ward 1 residents.